shall we rise on our feet, please? As we magnify the King of glory. The Father of Jesus Christ. The God of mercy. The one who has sustained and preserved us by mercy. He has given us victory by mercy. We are because he is. Without him, we are not. Let's open our mouth. Let's exalt his holy name. The Lord is worthy. He's mighty. The Lord is the best. He's the king of kings. He's the Lord of lords. Exalt his holy name. Thank you, Jesus. We are going to appreciate the Lord as we sing this song. Jehovah, we praise you. Jehovah, we praise you. We praise your name. We praise your name. Jehovah, we praise you. We praise you, Lord. Bible tells us in the book of Psalm 68 verse 1 let God arise let his enemies be scattered let them also that hate him flee before him therefore you will pray like this say where is the Lord God of Elijah can you shout it out loud? Arise and let the enemies of this service scatter. In the name of Jesus, where is the Lord God of Elijah? Arise and let the enemies of this service scatter. Scatter. In the name of Jesus, scatter. In Jesus' name we pray. You will pray this one for yourself. I'd like you to pray loud and clear. Say, any power, anything. Can you say it better? That does not want God to arise on my behalf. Die! In the name of Jesus. Any power, anything that does not want God to arise on my behalf. Die! Die! In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, Father. Hear my cry this morning. Arise speedily. And let my enemies cry. Father, hear my cry this morning. Arise speedily. Let my enemies cry. In the name of Jesus.
In Jesus' mighty name we worship. Let's begin to raise our hand and worship the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Thank the Jesus. Front, oh my God, the Thank you, Jesus. The Rose Thank you, of Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Who is worthy to be praised and adored? So we lift up holy hands in one accord, singing, Blessed be thy name, Blessed be thy name, Blessed be thy name of the Lord, Blessed be Testimony to give to a person. The person is waiting for you at the banner of love start. You have done so much for me. I 
cannot tell you no. Now run, now run, now run.
Good morning, wonderful people of God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you because whenever you are God, as we go into the teaching of this morning, we ask that the Holy Spirit will take over. Teach us by your spirit, O oh God. Thank you, dear Father. For we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, Christian parenting for this month, we shall be considering priesthood of the father in the family. Priesthood of the father in the family. I want to take down this Bible text. Genesis chapter 18 from verse 17 to 19. Genesis 18 17 to 19. Job chapter 1 verse 5. Job 1 5. Acts of the Apostles chapter 19 from verse 13 to 14. Then Acts 21, 8 to 9. Then the last one, Deuteronomy chapter 6, from verse 6 to 7. I will read from Genesis chapter 18. Genesis 18, from verse 17. And the Lord said, Shall I add from Abraham that thing which I do? Seeing that Abraham shall surely become a great and mighty nation. And all the nations of the earth shall be blessed in him. For I know him. For I can trust him. I can vouch for him. This is my testimonial that I'm writing about him. It's my testimonial that I'm writing about him. That he will command his children and his household after him and they shall keep the way of the Lord to do justice and judgment that the Lord may bring upon him that which he has spoken of him. May the Lord be able to trust every man here present this morning in the name of Jesus. The Lord could vouch for Abraham. He said, I trust him. I know the kind of man he is that he will not fail in his priesthood for his family. I can vouch for him. He's a man that knows the role of priesthood in the family. Acts 19, I will read verses 13 and 14. Acts 19, verses 13 and 14. Then certain of the vagabond Jews exhausted took upon them to call over them which had evil spirit the name of the Lord Jesus, saying, We adjure you by Jesus, whom Paul preached. And there were seven sons of Moskeva, a Jew and chief of the priests, which did so. Seven sons of a, of a pastor who did not understand the way of the Lord and the Bible calls them vagabond. The family institution has always been part of God's noble plan for humanity. The agenda of God from the beginning is that every family, every household, should be an extension of his heavenly kingdom. Why is this so? 
the plan of God is that he wants to drive his purpose and plan for humanity everything that God wants to do in this world he wants to drive such true pious families holy families who are guided and led by holy men and women so it is the responsibility of every father to understand the role of a priesthood that the Lord has imposed upon them but the painful thing these days is that we have a lot of fathers who are behaving like people of Nineveh people who could not differentiate between their right hands and their left hands many fathers in the house of God many Christian men are yet to understand the responsibility that the Lord God has imposed upon them as a father in the family as the husband of that woman the Lord has raised you up so be number one a patriarch of that family that that is the head of that family in every first set of that family you are the patriarch of your family god has raised you up to be a provider for your family god has raised you up to be a prophet for your family god has raised you up to be the propeller of your family propelling your family in the right direction according to the pattern the lord has given to you as the father of that house and lastly the, the, the lord god has raised you up as a father to act as a priest in that family to act as a priest for that your family like I've said earlier on, unfortunately, many fathers are missing that. But we thank God for the life of Abraham. God could boast about him. God said, I can vouch for him. He will not fail me in the priesthood role. He's going to lead his family according to the pattern. In the Bible, we have a lot of men who fail God in their priesthood. I pray for every man listening to me this morning. You will not fail in the name of Jesus Christ. You will not fail in the name of Jesus Christ. A lot of men fail God in their priesthood. You remember Isaac? He did not pass that test of priesthood. His family was a divided family. He took one of the sons and the wife took the second one. Jacob was a very bad example. He could not fulfill the priesthood role in the family. In fact, the answer of Jacob is what the people of this place, the Yoruba people call the polygamous home the garden of madness everything scatter scatter in that family because that man failed to play his prison role he lied the man of God he failed also often and finished as the two sons of that priest of the most high God brought calamity upon him oh so painful also Samuel that great prophet of the most high God his two sons also Joel and Abijah Joel and Abijah could not fulfill that role as children of the people of God Samuel also failed then we remember David look at he was a man after the heart of God he knew God in fact, the testimonial written of God about him is that David is a man after my own heart. He knew God. He always worshipped God. One of his popular songs 
as written in the Bible, is I will bless the Lord at all times. Bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us praise his name together. I will bless the Lord at all times. Bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. As written in Psalm 34, verses 1 and verse 3. But that man David, a man after God's heart, failed in that priesthood role. Then we remember the place we read now, Skeva. The high priest, a senior pastor, a man of God, his seven children also failed the Lord because Skeva did not play his priesthood old well. I pray for every man here. You will not fail God in the name of Jesus Christ. When men fail in their priesthood, what are the things that will begin to happen? When men fail, when fathers fail in their priesthood, what are the things that will begin to happen in the family? The first thing, number one, is that the devil will hijack that family. May the devil not hijack your family in the name of Jesus Christ. The second thing that will happen when fathers fail in the priesthood hole is that the whole family will be turned upside down. The whole family will be turned upside down. Number three, the purpose of God for that family will be thwarted or become terminated. May the purpose of God for your family not be terminated in the name of Jesus Christ. Another thing that may happen when fathers fail in their priesthood is that the destiny of the children of that home may become frustrated or wasted. Then number five, there will be success with imminent danger. Success with imminent danger. Everybody can be doing well in that family. The children can be passing and moving forward. But since the fathers are not playing their role as the priest of that family, there are imminent dangers, bitterness and sorrow. The, the next thing that may happen, when fathers are failing God in the priesthood, that the family may become a battlefield for the horse of darkness. Yes, the family will become a battlefield for the horse of darkness. I had a story of a family. I had a story of a family. Every day, the man and the woman must fight in the night before they go to bed over petty, petty issues. The man and the woman, Christian home. They will fight, they will quarrel. Because the man is not playing his priesthood role in that family. And when they go to bed every night like that, they will pray together. So the man will face the east, the woman will face west. They continue like that. Because the man is failing in his priesthood. Until the devil came in and killed one of their children. That was why they came back to their senses. May you not lose precious thing before you begin to do what God wants you to be doing as a man and a woman in the name of Jesus Christ. So when you don't play your role as a priest in that family, as a man, it is possible for you to become the Achan in that family. Because you open the door of your family to various satanic manipulations. Your life as a man will be open to the enemy. Because you are not standing for God. If you are not standing for God, I will not lie to you. Any man who is not standing for God is standing for the enemy. That is the truth that we teach in this mountain. 
So if you don't stand for God, you are standing for the enemy. It's either blessing or curse. It's either life or death. No midway. So if you have not played your priesthood role in that family, then you can become the account of that family. Then I say, Father, he as a father, if you are not playing your priesthood role in that family, it is possible that the children from such a family where the fathers are failing to play their role of priesthood will be bringing shame and disgrace to that family. I pray for you. Your children will not bring shame upon your household in the name of Jesus Christ. The unfortunate truth of today is that we have many boys and girls from Christian homes who are courtists, who are prostitutes, Christian children because the fathers are failed to start from the beginning playing their role of priest in the family. I pray for every man again. You will not fail God. 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 God. In the name of Jesus Christ. A lot of men nowadays are failing God in that priesthood assignment. But we thank God for the example of a man called Abraham that we are afraid about. Then we have another example of a good man who played that role very well. Evangelist Philip. In the book of Acts of the Apostles, chapter 21. If you read from verse 7, 8, 9. The Bible says he was able to raise seven daughters. Who are virgins. Who also prophesy. That is what the Bible says of that man. That man passed in his priesthood role. I pray for you again as a man. You will not fail God in the name of Jesus Christ. So it is necessary for every man to understand the priesthood as a father in the family. I said you are number one, the patriarch of your family. You are the provider for that family by God's grace through God. You are the prophet of that family. You are the propeller of that family. Then you are the priest of that family. So you as a father, the priest of that family, you should understand your role as a priest to number one, your wife. Your wife. And if you don't play this role well now, I pray that your future will not be bleak in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever will happen to you in the future, in your night time, whether it's going to be peaceful or stressful, whether the woman will take care of you or will pepper you, is determined by this role that you must understand today. So, to your wife as a priest, the first thing you must do is that you must disciple your wife for Jesus Christ through spiritual mentoring. That is your responsibility as a Christian man, a Christian husband, a Christian father. You must disciple your wife for Jesus Christ through spiritual mentoring. Number two, you must always be modeling the life of Christ to your wife. Let your wife see Jesus in you. Not you be a lion, not a wicked husband, no. Then you must always be supporting your wife to keep a fire burning. That fire she carried to your house must not go down. Must not be quenched. We have a lot of women they were on fire for Jesus before they married. But as soon as they entered the family, as they entered that home, the fire just died. 
may you not become a fire quencher to your wife in the name of Jesus Christ as a priest in that family to your wife you must be prayerfully guiding her to discover our destiny in the Lord God and in this life and you must encourage her to fulfill that then the last thing you have to do you must join your wife to build a formidable prayer partnership pray together with your wife every time securing the destiny and the glory of your family together but many of our men in the church today don't have that time what they do is to begin to misbehave to their wives and make them feel bad to your children as a priest of your family to your children as a priest of that family the first thing you must do is to be a good Christian who is always following Jesus Christ obediently and faithfully let your children see the way you are living your life for the glory of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ number two you have to raise them up as godly seed for God's glory then you must teach them the word of God from the beginning Deuteronomy chapter 6 if you read verses 6 and 7 you understand what the Lord is saying to all men there he said this word that I have commanded you you have to lay it in your heart you have to teach your children diligently he said as you are sitting down in your house you are walking in the way you are lying down you are rising up he said teach your children diligently my word so you have to teach them the word of God from babyhood you have to inculcate into them spiritual disciplines like fasting and prayer you have to teach them you have to establish a vibrant family altar for daily family encounter with the almighty god many men have no time for family altar in many families the women are the ones take playing that role today may you not fail god as a man in the name of jesus christ you have to encourage your children to join kingdom service then you have to maintain the right standard in that family don't be part of those parents who are saying well it is their time they can dress anyhow no maintain the right standard in that family now to your whole family now your entire family as a priest what must you be doing you must be engaged in intercessory prayer you must demand the priest you have to do that praying to wait off every satanic attacks or invasion you must create a conducive spiritual environment for that family to flourish in God don't be a kind of man that when you are coming to the family everybody is running away create a spiritual atmosphere that will make people grow spiritually make sure everyone conform with divine principles in your family you are a priest of your family make sure they conform make sure you are the oracle of god in your family declaring the counsel of god the totality of the counsel of god to your family and they pray for your wife and your children and everyone on daily basis soaking them in the fire of your prayer when you do this as a priest in that family i know that by the mercy of god your family will flourish and the purpose of god for that family shall stand in the name of jesus christ the heart of god is broken over many men today 
because they are failing God in this priesthood role. But I pray for you that your night time, your time of rest, shall not become your time of battle again in the name of Jesus Christ. I say your time of rest as a man, even as a woman, shall not become your time of battle in the name of Jesus Christ. You will not fail God your priest root all in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will support you. It will pour upon the anointing you need to excel as a man and as a priest of that family in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. We pray for every man here present today and those who are hearing us, wherever they are, that your arm will rest upon us all. Make us true men. Thank you, dear Father, for we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. May the Lord God bless you real good. May the Lord God bless you real good. He brought you here to bless your life. May the Lord God bless you real good, real good. Real good. Real good. Turn to another person, real good. Real good. Real good. He brought you here to bless your life. May the Lord God bless you real good. Amen. You are warmly welcome to this morning service. I want you to close your eyes and shout this prayer at the top of your voice. I shall manifest the glory of God. Whether my enemy likes it or not. In the name of Jesus. I shall manifest the glory of God. Whether my enemy likes it or not. In Jesus' name we pray. Shout this one too at the top of your voice. My uncommon testimony. Shout it louder than your neighbor. What are you waiting for? Manifest by fire. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, it is done. A louder amen. God bless you. Please pick up your hymn book as we open to hymn number 39. Hymn number 39. Before Jehovah's awful throne, ye nations bow with sacred joy. Know that the Lord is God alone. He can create and he destroy. Before Jehovah's Apple Throne. Before Jehovah's Apple Throne, it is to fall Congregation was two.
Pony Las Vegas. M290. Once my eyes were blind to the beauty of the Lord, once my ears were closed to the pleading of his word, once these hands of mine pressed the tongue crown on his brow, but all these he has forgiven, and it's all right now. Yes, it's all right now. Yes, it's all right now. He has heard my prayer, and it's all right now. Yes, it's all right now. Yes, it's all right now. All my sins are covered, and it's all right now. were blind once my eyes were blind to the beauty of the Lord once my eyes were Oh, 
407. In 407. Oh, to be like thee, blessed Redeemer. This is my constant longing and prayer. Gladly, I'll forfeit all of earth's treasures. Jesus, thy perfect likeness to wear. Oh, to be like thee. Oh, to be like thee. Blessed Redeemer, pure as thou art. Come in thy sweetness. Come in thy fullness. Stand thine own image deep on my heart. without this strength was fall.
Amen. Amen. God bless you, Quan Orchestra. God bless the congregation in Jesus' name. To the glory of God, many of our viewers have been blessed and are delighted to share their testimony with you once again. We know you will be blessed as you listen. Our first testimony goes like this. Praise God. I've been having abdominal pain for over one week, but during the ministration of Dr. Lukoya during the manor water service, I received my healing. In the dream that night, a snake was killed. I thank God for this healing. God bless you, Dr. Olukoya. Secondly, when I paid my first fruit offering in February 2021, I asked God to bless me with a good job. Then, on Saturday, after the prayers at the prayer city, I saw Dr. Olukoya in my dream. He pulled me out of a group of people. Three days later, I got a well-paid job. It can only be good. I've come to return all the glory back to him. Thank you, Jesus. I also bless God for delivering my family from untimely death. In Jesus' name, Amen. Our next testimony goes like this. Praise God. I want to appreciate God for his divine healing upon my life. The doctor said I had fibroids three years ago and advised me to go for surgery, which I declined. I said the Jesus that healed me from an ovarian cyst six years ago will heal me again. Last month, I had a very painful and heavy flow. I visited the hospital for a scan and blood count. They gave me a bad medical report. Immediately, I got home. I took the report, my Bible, and manna water, and I knelt down and I prayed with tears. After my prayers, I took the manna water and I sat down. Within five minutes, Jesus visited me in my living room and I pushed out the fibroids from my system. No operation, no drugs. Jesus did the operation. I have come to return all the glory to the God of Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Thank you, Jesus. Our next testifier writes, I want to thank God for what he has done in my life and my family. I thank God for promoting me to GSS2. I appreciate God for granting my two sisters two different admissions to two different schools of their choices. Secondly, I thank God for my brother's life. When he was about to be delivered, the doctor said they would do CS for my mother. The God of Dr. Dike Olukoya proved himself. Before that day, my brother was delivered inside the car with a cord around his neck. He could not breathe, so we called on the God of Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, and he started breathing well. By the time we got to the hospital, the doctors and nurse were screaming, saying, How come this is unbelievable? This is wonderful because my mom's blood pressure was so high and the doctor said it's not possible for her to deliver without caesarean operation. But the God of Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries proved the doctors wrong. My mom gave birth to a bouncing baby boy that we have been looking for in my family. Thank you, Jesus, for everything. And may God continue to bless Dr. Olukoya and his family. In Jesus' name, Amen. Our next testimony goes like this. I would like to thank God for healing me during the manna water service. I had severe pains in my mouth for days, but after the prayers and drinking the manna water, the pains disappeared the following day when I woke up. I can't find the pain again. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you would like to share your testimonies with us, kindly send them to our WhatsApp number plus two three four seven zero four. 291-3538 or email us testimony at mountainoffire.org Thank you and God bless you. Hallelujah! On behalf of the General Overseer of the Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, Dr. Daniel Kolawole Olukoya and our mommy Gio, Pastor Mrs. Shadi Olukoya. I warmly welcome you to this Sunday service. As we prepare to listen to the in-person testifiers, shall we please close our eyes and pray. 
Eternal Rock of Ages, we thank you for an open heaven of testimonies upon us in this assembly. We give you the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. We soak the testifiers and their testimonies in the blood of Jesus. And as we listen, Father Lord, we pray that you increase our faith in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father Lord, for in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Church, praise the Lord. My name is Sister Sikan. I'm here to glorify God for what he has done in my life. Before my birthday in February this year, I have been having this feeling that I will die before my birthday. But I keep on praying to God. I keep on praying to God and I've been doing vigil. So after my birthday, two days after that day, I have a terrible fall in the bedroom. And since then, my life was somehow, I've been having these terrible pains and, my, and, and it was like I was floating. There was no life in me. So last week, Thursday, I, have, I sent a personal message to my father in the Lord, Dr. Diko Luko. I said, Daddy, <laughs> I'm not feeling fine. No. Please pray for me. And I know when you see this, my message, and you pray for me that I will receive my healing. That night, I had a dream. I saw him going for administration. And when I woke up, you know, I sighted him. I was in a gallery. And when I woke up, a new life, a new strength come into my life. So that is why I've come here to say, Father, thank you for the preservation of my life. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> Talk ba won lo wo iku itojo won ni ko to di pe won se ojo ibi won ni osu osu to lo yi won ti ma ni lokan bi pe erongba kan wa si oko won pe awon o ni pe ku ki lo wa fe fa ile won omo ati gba na gan ni won tin gbadura to won tin se se oru won ni gba to ma se ojo ibi won ojo bi meji leyin igbre won wa ni baluwe ni won ba subu won ni subu awon lede bi wi pe won fori lale gba to fi ma dide opolopo erora to pe leke o ti wonu agu ara won lo o di pe to ba rin adabi gba si won le foro won ri wi pe ko si emi ko si ije ni praise the lord church my name is Sister Olakumbi, and I'm here to give glory to God for what he has done for me. I have two testimonies, and the first testimony goes like this. My daughter wrote her exams last year, WAEC exams, and uh, she passed all her paper, papers except math. So I immediately registered her for GC exams, and I came here, I told God that if he would allow her to pass all her papers, including math, I will come here and testify of his glory. And now she has passed all her papers, including math. Then the second testimony is that um, since last year, October, I, I've been having um, pain in my, in my heart. So I, I've been praying to God, and eventually I went to the hospital sometime this year, and they said I had low blood, um, blood pressure. So I, last week Sunday, when I came to church, and our GO said that we should smite any area that is uh, hurting us. So I smote the place 21 times. And since that time till now, I've not felt the pain again. Everything has disappeared. So I give God the glory. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> Ton dabira ni no aye ni won ni eri meji ototo ni olorun ori oke lo se ninu aye won eyi akoko da lori won omo won obirin won ni odun to koja o joko lati se idanwo iwe mewa won ni gba to fi ma se tesi re ma jade won ni o se dada ni gbogbo awon ekan toku afi isiro eyi lo wa mu won lati pe kan mo to tu tun se ni odun yi won ni amoko to di fo ma tun se ni okoko wa bi won si so fun olorun ko oluwa o ba le je ko se se o fun omo na lati se tu e ko yi donwo re ko to ba si mu gbogbo paper re awon ma pada lati wa dupe eyi gan lo mu jade loni nitori pe 
ti do wo na ti jade won ni omo na si se aseyege ni gbogbo ohun to di do wo to joko fun eyi won eyi ni eri won akoko eri ekeji won ni lati osu ke wa du ti o koja no ti kiss bi pe irora to peleke irora to le o wa ninu oko won eyi mo lo si lewo so won se opolopo ayewo won si se opolopo itoju ama ko si onu abayo o pe eyi wa mu won to fi pada wa sibi won ni ba to fi ma di ojo sunday to koja ninu ise aranse baba ninu oluwa won ni ki gbogbo agba bi to ba nduwa ni igba mokan le ni ogun awon se be pelu oko yin gbagbo won ni lati ojo sunday to koja yen ati titi lai lai irora to peleke to ba won fi ora ninu oko won o ti jade o ti do ohun igbagbe o ti pada sibi to ti wa ilera pipe o si ti je ipe won fun mejeje ototo ti olorun se won se wa loni lati bi pe oluwa se Good morning, church. I have two testimony to give. Uh, before I joined MFA, I am living in Italy for many years. So I applied for citizen two times. They reject me. 2018, I joined MFA. One day in service, our daddy, one knowledge, uh, word of knowledge came from him. So I, I just keep to the, uh, the word. I was praying, praying. When I get home, I repeat the prayers again. But after that prayer and everything, they give it to me. I have everything now. I have my passport and everything. I'm even I'm, I'm patient now. Just last year, I came, I came again just because of my, my, my daughter's wedding. Because I was afraid many people were coming from many places. So I came here, I came to the altar and prayed. I told my God to help me. I want peace and everything in the marriage. So the marriage was done. Everything was peace. Everything was okay. So that's the reason I came to give thank uh, glory to the Lord. Ah, mama wa jade ni owuro ojo sunday to ni awon wa dupe fo ohun meji ototo ohun lati olorun se ninu aye won ati ninu aye omo won obirin eyi akoko eri won won ni ilu itili ni won ngbe fun opolopo ni won si tin ngbe be ko to di pe on dara pon wa ni oroke ni ati se ya nu ni odun marun seyin fun e meji ototo ni won si fi iwe sowo fun awon ejo baba bi pe ko sha le fun won ni iwe didi omo ni ilu ni ilu itali lohun won ni sugun e meji ototo ohun won ma nfi dire mi won si nfi fun won gba to ma dara pon mo wa ni odun marun seyin eyi gan ni won mu to olorun wa won si dupe ni owo olorun you can do your gun gun, no longer okay, not to share Yanu. How long is it called Marsh? I shall see. How long to my show, Bobo, Nikia, or Cosimo, or who wants to feel a polop or do at your polop by one? One you get that you want to ni where did your money loo, ni Louis Ali Long, no about fifty more. Any one, Coco, every one, Kedji, one about your mother, she be a woe, no do so coja, one do I see only Joanny be, wants to clean what you prepare. Once it's off, no longer okay, not to share Yanu Polua, or polop by one more lebby, at your more, no more cacky, no bobo, but like. Mo fe ki on kan ti mo nbe lowo re na ni alaafia ati pe ko gba isakoso ni na oro igbeyawo na won si ndupe lowo olorun pe gbogbo awon to rin ajo wa fun ibi igbeyawo na gbogbo won lo pada lole ati pe igbeyawo na nkan olorun je ki alaafia joba o gba isakoso gbogbo re yori sire fun gbogbo ti olorun se ninu aye won ati ninu aye awon mo won won se wa lati bi pe oluwe se good morning church femi odutola is my name cervical Spondylosis is what doctors call what happened to me. I was walking down a staircase and uh, I fell down and hit the back of my neck on the edge of the step. It nearly severed my head. It nearly cut my head off from my neck. But we thank God he, it did not do that. But it crushed a cartilage in my neck the, the, the a cartilage which separates two bones so as the as the two bones which were um, joint which were s s separated by the cartilage grinded together it, it gave me excruciating pain I was always in pain that's what the doctors call it cervical spondylosis. I was told by the doctors that I will have to live with the pain and rely on painkillers for the rest of my life. And uh, as I, I worship at MFM, I, I always have done for a long time, as I worshipped under the anointing which the almighty God has very very kindly granted to our father, my father in Christ, 
Pastor D.K. Olukoya, Dr. Olukoya, I was completely healed of this cervical splendidosis. Praise the Lord. With all my heart, with all my mind, and with all my soul, I thank the Lord God for his son, Jesus Christ, and for his son, my father in Christ, uh, Dr. D.K. Ulukoya. Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Yes, hallelujah. The doctors would always have a name for it. But like uh, last testifier said, a situation that he was supposed to manage for life. The God of this commission has stepped into it and has given him a wonderful breakthrough. For this and for all the testimonies we have listened to, respectfully, please let's rise up and Shout three hallelujahs to God. Yeah, hallelujah. 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 We end like this by yeah, praying. Bye -bye. Oh God, arise and give me an uncommon testimony in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. A louder amen. It's time for the announcement. We have two video plays to watch. God bless you richly as you watch in Jesus' name. Brethren, this is a disclaimer. Kindly be informed that the General Overseer of the Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, Dr. D.K. Olukoya, or MFM Ministries, do not have any social media platform that seeks for funding or request for financial assistance. Please be guided, for these are acts of dubious individuals who are out there to defraud people. Please watch out for YouTube pages, Facebook pages, Instagram pages, or any other that indulge in these activities. God bless you in Jesus' name. At the MFM International Headquarters, Lagos, Nigeria, there will be a gathering of the Gen 20 Souls for the Marital Congratulation Program. Theme, new song, new, new, new song. 0800 WAT 25th of March 2023 Dr. D.K. Olukoya the General Overseer will be presiding live the Gen 20 Singles March edition of the Marital Congratulation new song this program will be made available on our social media platforms Facebook YouTube and Instagram 0800 WAT 25th of March 2023 be there Jesus is Lord Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, surely the Lord is here. First time into this service. Can you rise to your feet for recognition wherever you are seated in the auditorium? I welcome us and ground to give you special welcoming packs. You are welcome in Jesus' name. Please be reminded that the two-day special manna water service coming up this week, Wednesday, 22nd, March 2023, and Thursday, 23rd, March 2023. The venue will be here at the International Headquarters. Time is 4.30 p.m. All participants in the two-day special manna water service, they are to come fasting everyone is to break their fast on those two days with the manna waters after each service the entrance examination into the mountain top secondary school holds on saturday 25th march 2023 while the second entrance examination comes up on saturday 13th may 2023 
The venue will be Mountain Top Secondary School, situated at number two. Chief Olanri Wadju Adeni close beside Onike Guess High School, Waya Road, Onike Yaba, Lagos. Time is nine o'clock in the morning. The first quarterly program of the MFM Breakthrough Clinic that is tagged Launch into the Deep. It's coming up from Monday 27 to Wednesday 29th, March 2023. The venue will be at the main auditorium international headquarters. The time is 12 to 2 p.m. Special announcement is the restoration program of the Mountain of Fire God's Men of Valor restoration program Capture Your Glory. That is coming up this Saturday, 25th March 2023. All men and women are expected to be there. The venue will be at Grace Auditorium. Time is 8 o'clock to 11 o'clock. Ministering this our Father and the Lord. Regions within Lagos State are expected to be at the international headquarters for the program. While regions outside Lagos should connect online via MFM social media platform. Everyone is invited. It is time to recover our glory. MFM Professional and Business Forum present Financial Empowerment Conference featuring prayer that brings financial wealth and also tax business opportunities and so many other opportunities. Prophetic dimension in business and career. The date for that will be April 8, 2023. Time is 10 o'clock in the morning. Venue is Grace Auditorium, MFM International Headquarters. As you come, the Lord bless you richly in Jesus' name. The Daughters of Selofia, the MFM International Headquarters Special Program is slated for Saturday, 25th March, 2023. Elijah Hall is the venue. Time is 8 o'clock. Our Father and the Lord will be there to bless everyone. Children Ministry at the International Headquarters is organizing a vocational Bible school for children in April 2023. Date is 10 to 15th April 2023. Main Children Building beside Elijah or MFM International Headquarters is the venue. The time is 8 o'clock to 2 p.m. daily. Parents and guidance, you are to take note. If you have testimony to share with us, kindly drop your written testimony inside the testimony boxes which are conspicuously placed in the auditorium. Remember to include your names and your telephone numbers. God bless you richly as you comply in Jesus' mighty name. A louder amen. A wonderful amen. Please, let's bring out our Bibles for Bible reading. We are reading from the, the book, Second King, chapter, Second King, chapter 5. We are reading it from verse 1 to the end. Second Kings, Chapter 5, from verse 1 to the end. I read the first verse here. And you follow with the other verse. We go like this until the last verse when we all read together. Are we all there? Second Kings, chapter 5. We read it from verse 1 to the end. Let us read it to minister to our spirit. Now, Naaman, captain of the host of the king of Syria, was a great man with his master and honorable because by him the Lord has given deliverance unto Syria. He was also a mighty man in valor, but he was a leper. And she said unto her mistress, Will God my Lord were with the prophet that is in Samaria? 
for he will recover him of his leprosy. And the king of Syria said, Go to, go, and I will send a letter unto the king of Israel. And he departed and took with him ten talents of silver and six thousand pieces of gold and ten changes of raiment. And it came to pass when the king of Israel had read the letter that he rent his clothes and said, Am I God to kill and to make alive? That this man was sent unto me to recover a man of his leprosy. Wherefore, consider, I pray you, and see how he seeketh a quarrel against me. So Naaman came with his horses and with his chariots and stood at the door of the house of Elisha. But Naaman was wrong and went away and said, Behold, I thought he will surely come out to me and stand call on the name of the Lord is God and strike his hand over the place and recover the labor. And his servant came there and spoke unto him and said, My father, if the prophet had been thee do some great thing wouldn't you not have done it how much rather than when he said to thee wash and be clean to the man of God he and all his company and came and stood before him and he said behold now I know that there is no God in all the earth but in Israel now therefore I pray thee take a blessing of thy servant Naaman said, Shall there not then, I pray thee, he giving to thy servant two months burden of earth? For thy servant will henceforth offer neither burnt offering nor sacrifice unto other gods, but unto the Lord. We are doing very well and he said unto him go in peace so he departed from him a little way so as i followed after Naaman and when Naaman saw him running after him he lighted down from the chariots to meet him and said is all well
good, good. And Naaman said, Be content, take two talents. And he urged him and bound two talents of silver in two bags with two changes of garments and laid them upon two of his servants and they bear them before him. But he went in and stood before his master and Elijah said unto him, Whence cometh thou, Gehazi? And he said, Thy servant went no whither. I want you to read that verse 26 very well again. Let's go. And let's read the last verse together loud and clear. Then the leprosy therefore of Naaman that cleave unto thee and unto thy seed forever and he went out from his presence a leper as white as snow may the lord bless the reading of his word and make his words to prosper in our lives i want you to close your eyes and pray this prayer very well say oh god my father Use me to bless my generation in the name of Jesus. Come 
me for to carry me oh swing low swing chariots call me for to carry me oh swing low swing chariots call me for to carry me oh Hallelujah, Lord. I'll be with you. She cried, Lord, I got my duties. I got my traveling shoes. Traveling shoes. Traveling shoes. Traveling shoes. Traveling shoes. Traveling shoes. We soon be done. With troubles and trials. In the hole on the other side. Tell the kids a good morning And then we will Sit down beside my Jesus And then we'll rest a while Sit down and rest a little while We'll soon be done We'll soon be done With troubles and trials In that home In the home On the other side On the other side We will shake Shake hands with the elders Tell the kids a 
and good morning. We will sit down beside my Jesus. And then we will sit down beside my Jesus. And then we will sit. Sit down beside my Jesus. At the throne of grace. Sit down beside my Jesus. By the Almighty God. Sit down beside my Jesus. And that day there will be a day of judgment. Sit down beside my Jesus. And then we will see it. Sit down beside my Jesus. Is somebody sitting? Sit down beside my Jesus. And then we will sit. Sit down beside my Jesus. And then we will rest. Sit down and rest a real while. We'll soon be done. Shout it loud, hallelujah. A louder, hallelujah. Let's lift your two hands as we sing this song loud and clear. Jehovah, you are so good.
You are the Lord, that, that is your name. You will never share your glory with anyone. You will never share your glory with anyone. Almighty God, that is your name. Give my you so deep. 
Father, we thank you for another time before your feet. Thank you because it is written. Secret things belong unto the Lord our God. But those things which are revealed are revealed unto us and our children. Father, we thank you because it is written that oppression shall be far from your people. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Father, lay your hands upon us today. Let us war a good warfare. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let's have a seat. God bless you. Let me say right away that if you are allergic to hard praying. You are not going to enjoy this morning service. If you are allergic to prayer, you will enjoy today's service. For what we are dealing with is a very serious matter indeed. Information downloaded from heaven. Can you raise up your right hand and shout as loud as your voice can carry? You. Say evil arrows backfire in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Jesus name we pray now let me decode for you this popular mountain of fire and miracles ministry prayer point every prayer we pray in mountain of fire and miracles ministry always has a scriptural base we don't pray on scriptural prayers. I'm taking you through six verses of scripture. So you can know how to position yourself on a morning like this. We're not here to play. We're not here to joke. We're here for serious business. In Psalm 7, Verse 16. I did not write the scriptures. And it wasn't the mountain of fire and miracles I wrote it. Psalm 7 verse 16 Is mischief shall return upon his own head and his violent dealing shall come down upon his path path there means head Go back to the book of Nehemiah. Nehemiah chapter 4. This is a prayer point. Prayed by Nehemiah. Nehemiah 4. Hear our God, for we are despised and turn their reproach 
upon their own head and give them for a prey in the land of captivity. Psalm 9 verse 15 Psalm 9 verse 15 The heathen are sunk down in the pit that they made they made the pit they go inside themselves in the net which they hid is their own foot taken Psalm 35 verse 8 that two man over there all the powers that have conspired that you will not have peace by the time you leave this service they shall be scattered unto desolation Psalm 35 was 8. Psalm 35 was 8. Let destruction come upon him at unawares. And let his net that he had hid catch himself into that very destruction let him fall I did not write it but there it is Psalm 70 verse 2 and 3 Psalm 70 2 and 3 let them be ashamed and confounded the sick after my soul. Let them be turned backward and put to confusion that desire my heart. Let them be turned back for the word of their shame that are saying, aha, aha. And in Psalm 109, which is the sixth, sixth one I'm going to read. Psalm 109, verse 17. 109, verse 17. As a loved cousin, so let it come unto him. As a delight, let not him bless him. So let it be far from him. These are just six of many scriptures showing you that the believer has a right to pick any curse issued against him, to pick any incantation issued against him, to pick any utterance issued against him. To pick any arrow issued against him and ask it to go back to the senders. That's those are the scriptures that are telling us we can do that. When a person is so wicked and disobedient to God and is flinging witchcraft arrows, incantation against a child of God they must be stopped you have to stop them before they stop you 
If you do not stop them, they will stop you. It has been well written that the best defense is attack. When you return a cast and arrow back to the sender, you are not committing any sin because you did not initiate the arrow. You did not initiate the curse. You are merely sending it back to the originator. When we return those curses to the senders, they now know that there is a power that is greater than their own powers. This is a very serious matter. It was in the whole town of Akure. That was a brother John, a converted Muslim, who took evangelism very seriously. Five a.m. he was up with a bell, going around the streets, saying, Repent! But the kingdom of God is at hand. The drunker repent. The adulterer repent. 5 a.m. in the morning. But during his journey, he passes through occultic places. He was just preaching the gospel. <laughs> He didn't know he was harming the occultic people. He just is crossing the place and talking. If, if some of you know how darkness fear you, <laughs> you'll be more serious with your Christianity. The Bible says, resist the devil. He will flee. He will flee. Oh, so the devil can run away from somebody. Yes, it's in the Bible. Say, resist him. We flee. If he's not fleeing, check the resistance you are putting up. You are, you are either not resisting, or your resistance is weak, or your resistance is tainted with sin. They can flee. So thou believest there is one God, thou doest well. Say so the demons also believe and they tremble. So the enemies do tremble. Powers of darkness do tremble when they see their match. I'm praying for somebody here this morning. The anointing to terrify your enemies. Receive that anointing in the name of Jesus. It's a fold of But like John did not know that it was troubling them. So they gathered the major native doctors to kill him to use their greatest weapon that they used to kill people to kill him and the greatest weapon is a drum a satanic drum after days and days and days of sacrifice they brought the drum it had never failed them they begin to conjure the spirit the soul of a person to appear on that drum. If any preacher is telling you <laughs> that there is no power of darkness, it's just deceiving. There is power of darkness. Jesus admitted that there is power of darkness. So I give you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over every power of the enemy. The enemy has power. If the enemy has no power, the magicians of Pharaoh, <laughs> with which power did they turn their own stick to serpent? There is power, dark powers. 
So they call the person, they call the person, they conjure the spirit of the person. And very soon, the face will appear on the drum. Then they will stick a knife through it. And the person bleeds to death. It has never failed them. This day they gathered against Brajon. May every enemy gathered against you be disgraced in the name of Jesus. The call is named the first time. Nobody appeared. They called him the second time. Nobody appeared. And they only have three opportunities to call it. They call him the third time. The face of Brother John appeared. They took the knife to hit it on the drum and pierce the drum. Just a split second, split second for that knife to touch the drum. The face here changed to the face of the man with the knife. And he couldn't stop himself anymore. He ran the knife through. He landed on the floor, bleeding. And the others started incantations to revive him. I'm praying right now that any arrow fired against your life, fired against your children, fired against your career, fired against. Amen. Amen. 1995. Lord, 1995. Here. Something up. A brilliant girl. At the university. Studying mathematics. Just went blind in the classroom. Lord, Gigi. Loba Fordu. No reason. Ah, modere. She didn't have any high problem. So they began to take her from place to place, from place to place. Everywhere they went to check her brain, check her eyes. The doctor said, "There is no problem with these eyes. There is no reason why these eyes are not seen." No, ba mo adon modere be no lati be kon losi o miro. Ni biki no ba lati si aye wo ju ani kosi ngoko du shi wo di pe lo ju yi. Then the mother brought her here. Ni ba to ya ni ya re ba mu wasi a re wani. I've grown beyond that now. If it's, if it's, if it's, if it's now, I will not do what I did that time. Everybody grows in Christ every day. I've grown beyond that. Immediately they came in. I heard the voice of the Holy Spirit. So the agent of blindness is here. We will just say, Oh, if what you own Benny, so oh, yeah, okay. Oh, thou, Madam, do you know anything about what happened to your daughter? Yeah, I think, yeah, more of us, and if you don't want my own, you're no, sir. I like Bobby, you're going to pray, please pray. No, sir, a bank, but rough, okay. When you're down. We had a small toilet at the back of this place. I need be called to get a racket, what you must say, lay, put it okay, mommy. Mama, go inside that room. Daughter, you want more beauty? Go inside that room. Both of you, you are going to start praying. Hey, imagine you let your serious prayer. Let your voices roar like thunder in that place. Oh, we come as some people. Anything you ask us to do, sir, we shall do. They started prayer. What was the prayer that I gave to them? Every evil arrow. Go back to your sender. Sir. Every evil arrow. Go back to your sender. Daughter was shouting. Daughter was shouting. 
mother was shouting the prayers. It went on for 15 minutes. All of a sudden, we were not hearing the voice of mother again. It was only the girl shouting. By the time we opened the door, daughter can now see. Mother was now blind. It was very interesting. When they were coming, mother took daughter by the hand and was dragging her like this. When they finish, daughter dragging my mother. I'm praying for you. Any arrow fired against you, conscious or unconscious, in the dream, in the physical, whether you know about it, don't know about it. Let those arrows backfire now in the name of Jesus. Hey, some will fall the back. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Some people complain. Why are you people praying against enemies? If it is wrong to pray against an enemy that wants you dead, that wishes evil for you, then David shouldn't have killed Goliath. Abraham shouldn't have defended his nephew, Lot. God will not have sent Moses to go and deliver his people from Egypt. If you don't have to fight your enemies. In fact, there will not even be any need for Nigeria to be fighting Boko Haram. Oh, love your enemies like yourself. Oh, go to Sambisa Forest and love them. <laughs> there will be no need to fight them. We should have allowed the Amen to just hang Mordecai like that. David should not have been fighting all the enemies of Israel. Elijah should not have been praying that God should send fire upon his enemies. The Bible says the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. But the mighty true God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down every imagination and every eye thing that exhausts itself against the knowledge of God. Why should Elijah pray that God should strike his enemy with blindness? Why did Daniel pray against those enemies that falsely accuse him to be thrown into the lion's den? This is a very, very serious matter. Very serious matter. There are arrows, the enemies they are firing now. And this is the cross of the prayer meeting of this month. Arrows of disfavor. Arrows of failure. Arrows of unexplainable hatred. Arrows of academic and career frustration. Arrows of almost dear syndrome. Almost dear. Arrows of joblessness. Arrows of untimely death. These days, they fire arrows of vagabond life into children who are already in the university. They just come home and say, I'm not studying again. Arrows of poverty. Arrows of building but not living there. Arrows of marital distress. Arrows of suicidal tendencies. Arrows of addictions. 
As a matter of fact, it will appear as if the enemy has now bombarded the whole world with arrows of drug addiction. Many young people, including ladies, are becoming addicted to hard drugs. Arrows of gynecological problems. Arrows of confusion. Arrows of chain problems. Arrows of being disgraced out of breakthrough. Arrows of infirmities. Arrows of demotion. Arrows of hardship. Arrows of promotion failure. Arrows of frustration. Arrows of dream oppression. Arrows of paralysis. Arrows of business failure. Arrows of strange women into marriages. Arrows of depths. Arrows of prayer paralysis. Arrows of dead organs in the body. The enemy is firing these arrows all over the place. Arrows of profit starvation into business. Arrows of rejection. Arrows of polygamy. Arrows of night feeding. Arrows of closed doors. Arrows of fruitless efforts. Arrows of pocket with holes. When people wake up, or they are not even awake, and they find that they are being choked on their bed. Arrows have entered. Some are hearing voices. People calling their names. You don't know who's calling your name. The arrows, the arrows, the arrows have entered. Sudden depression comes upon a happy person. This arrows have entered. Some just fear needlessly. There are arrows. We've seen many people at deliverance ground. They said a wind blew upon them. And they lost the use of the hand and the leg. Arrows of heavy head. Arrows of feeling very cold in a hot room. Arrows of sending physical idols to people. Arrows of calling people's name at night from the sleep. All this happened every day. We, to keep quiet, leave them alone, it's a close destiny. Unfortunately, prayers have to be specific. General prayers don't work. You have to be specific. What you are really attacking. So this morning, you need to surrender your life to Jesus. That's the first important thing. Without that, the backfiring prayers will not be of help. You need to become a friend of God. So you smoke, you drink, commit fornication, you lie, you cheat, you have not yet surrendered your life to Jesus. You need to do so now. I want you to benefit from the prayers of today. So wherever you are, why all eyes are closed? Say, Pastor, I want to surrender my life to Jesus. Let's find a way to the altar here very quickly. As Jesus is waiting for you here. The Lord of us has brought you here to bless you. So find a way to this altar.
those of you at the altar, I congratulate you. Bow down your heads. Say what I'm going to say after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. In Jesus' name. Amen. I'm going to pray with you now. Father, I thank you for your children here. Keep them standing by your power. Write their names in the book of life. Let the decision they've taken today be permanent in their lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Open your eyes and look at me. You've taken the most important decision in life and I congratulate you. See this, see this pastor over there. Just follow the pastor. Just follow the pastor for a few minutes. God bless you as you do so. Thank you. On the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea. On the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea. Hallelujah. The Lord is my portion in the land of the living. The Lord is good this morning is targeted at somebody. I don't know who the persons are. And you don't know which one is relevant to your case. Because in the spiritual realm, what you see is not sometimes what you fight. All eyes closed. Can you shout this louder than anyone around you? disease fired against me backfire in the name of Jesus through I told you receive your healing receive your healing receive your healing that is the power of God coming upon you yes in Jesus name we pray
don't worry about the wordings of this prayer. Pray them the way I'm calling them. Say, strange odor. From the grave. Assigned against me. Can you shout it loud? In the name of Jesus. You must lose your temper with the enemy this morning. We are not here to negotiate. Yes. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. I was praying with somebody recently. <laughs> and a demon spoke. The demon said, man of God. When you asked me to leave this person, I left. Because I received a lot of punishment when I came to MFM. So I, I left this person. But the parents began to offer sacrifices, sacrifices, sacrifices to send me back. Yeah, he's a demon that has retired from work. But some people began to offer the demon sacrifice to go back. Can you shout it loud and clear? Dangerous sacrifices. Eh? Offered against me. Can you shout it loud? Your voice is not loud enough. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Please, sir, please, sir, please, sir, please, sir, please, sir, please. See that woman? Yes, yes, yes. In Jesus' name, we pray. See what is going on. Yes. that have gained access into my blood can you shout it loud you are a liar backfire in the name of Jesus Raise your voice. Raise your voice. Raise your voice. Raise your voice. Bapoka Tarabo. Rimo Kosotonda Kayabo Shotayabo Sanda. In Jesus' name we pray. Shout this loud. Say, arrows of the night. Backfire. Tonight, backfire in the name of Jesus. See what is going on. Jesus name we pray. Say arrows are sign to frustrate my efforts. Can you say it loud and clear? Backfire 
in the name of Jesus today is today enough is enough you cannot negotiate in Jesus then we pray say arrows assigned to make me experience the battles of my parents this prayer is going to cause great deliverance now experience the battles of my parents back in the name of Jesus See that brother is breaking through. See that sister is breaking through. He's breaking through. In Jesus' name we pray. I want you to lose your temper completely. And pray with violent anger in this particular three prayer points. With the massive presence of angels of God moving about here. Hello, sir. Assigned to drag me backwards. You are a liar. Backfire. In the name of Jesus. You shall not drag me backward. You cannot drag me backward. Yes. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Arrows! Fire to block my joy. Can you shout it loud? There is a sister who needs to shout this loud. Backfire! In the name of Jesus! Then we pray. Arrows assigned to make me labor in vain. Can I hear the brothers shouting it? Brothers, I think your voice should be louder. Let me hear the sisters roaring like thunder. Go back to your sender. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, arrows are signed to shoot down my star. There is a young man who needs to shout this prayer loud. 
There is a parent who needs to shout this loud. Backfire! In the name of Jesus. Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Every charm sent against me. Can you say it with authority? Can you allow your voice to be loud? You are a liar. Back fire. In the name of Jesus. Today is today. You cannot negotiate. This is not a day to negotiate. Makatela kaya boko shende rabo center. Ribo sapo le katende kaya boko shende raba. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Now, this next one is a very critical and important arrow that must go back to the senders. Please, I'm begging you. If you lose your voice, print this one. But you get a breakthrough, you have made a good bargain. Arrows of envious enemies. Fire against me. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Today is today. You cannot negotiate. Yes, 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 yes. Makatende kaya boshende ra bosoto la kaya boshang. name we pray. Let there be silence now. Perfect silence. Don't say anything. Not even say amen. Father, every demonic missile fired against his brother every demonic missile fired against this sister and her children right there where they are standing let the arrows begin to go back to the ascenders arrows of eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood you have made a huge mistake whether they call you cancer whatever name they call you go back to your sender it is happening the arrow of strange women in your marriage is going back to the senders. Oh, 
all the agents of darkness that have been sent to carry messages against you I command them to carry their messages back to their senders and release their harrows they brought against you to them all the arrows of the wicked elders and from witchcraft altars fired against 21 persons here go back to your cell that's number one two three four five six seven eight nine You can't hide. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. That brother. Listen. The evil words spoken against your life shall not stand but shall go back to the senders in the name of Jesus a servant for the man Please bring out your tithes and your offering for this meeting now. If you still have first fruit to give, the boxes are there. Father, we thank you for the tithes and the offering. And thank you for what you have done here this morning. A good measure of praise and falling over. Let it be our lot in the name of Jesus. Lay your hands upon your people. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. You can see the boxes close to you there. I can pick our data from the screen while we listen to the music ministry.
Let's rise on our feet, please. As you raise up your two hands to the Lord, pick any song of praises in your mouth and sing it loud and clear to the King of Kings and to the Lord of Lords. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Father, I thank you for your children here who have attended this morning service. There was a word of prophecy about those who will attend this morning service. That all the conspiracy against your life is permanently scattered in the name of Jesus. that every evil arrow physical spiritual academic career business health all the arrows fired against those areas of your life they are gone back to the senders in the name of Jesus and by the decree of heaven I decree as a prophet of the Most High God, every owner of evil load, carry your load in the name of Jesus. Carry your load. 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 Carry your load in the name of Jesus. And I prophesy upon your life, whether it is convenient for the enemy or not, whether the enemy likes it or not. Hear the word of the Lord. Arise and shine. Arise and shine. Let your head be lifted up. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. The Lord blesses you from Zion. Make his face to shine upon you. And be gracious unto you. You shall go from strength to strength. And from glory to glory. All the prayers you are praying today shall become testimonies. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. All the prayer requests, our oh Lord, answer them by fire. Let every prayer, prayer point written on this prayer request become mighty testimonies. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Don't forget special manna water service on Wednesday and Thursday. You come fast and break your fast with the water. Thursday, the same thing, which is 23.03.23. Don't miss that strategic day for any reason. Thank you, Jesus. Let us share the grace in fellowship. The Lord work for and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with us. Surely, goodness and mercy are for all the days of life. We shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Seven miracles receiving. Hallelujah. Let's go. service at 700 WAT ministering Dr. D.K. Olukoya Brethren, this is a disclaimer. Kindly be informed that the General Overseer of the Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, Dr. D.K. Olukoya or MFM Ministries do not have any social media platform that seeks for funding or requests for financial assistance. Please be guided for these are acts of dubious individuals who are out there to defraud people. Please watch out for YouTube pages, Facebook pages, Instagram pages or any other that indulge in these activities. God bless you in Jesus name.
At the MFM International Headquarters, Lagos, Nigeria, there will be a gathering of the Gen 20 series for the Marital Congratulation Program theme. New song. New, new, new song. 0800-WAT 25th of March 2023 Dr. D.K. Olukoya, the General Overseer, will be presiding live. The Gen 20 Singles March Edition of the Marital Congratulation New Song. This program will be made available on our social media platforms Facebook, YouTube and Instagram. 0800-WAT 25th of March 2023 Be there. Jesus is Lord. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely the Lord is here.
was good enough for my mother. Oh yes. Oh, you was good enough for my mother. Oh yes. Oh, you was good enough for my mother. Oh yes. Hallelujah, good enough for me. Give me that old old time religion. Give me that old old time. Won't you give me that old old time religion, Lord? Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, good enough for me. Said he was good for the Hebrew children. Oh yes. Oh, he was good for the Hebrew children. Oh yes. Oh, he was good for the Hebrew children. Oh yes. Hallelujah, good enough for me. Living or dying, for they will pray. Hallelujah, good enough for me. My soul got happy and I stayed all day. Gospel choir. Hallelujah, good enough for I wouldn't take nothing for the journey now. Hallelujah, good enough for me. Give me that old time religion. Wouldn't you give me that old time religion? Wouldn't you give me that old time religion? Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, good enough for me. I know my Lord's gonna keep me well. All day. Hallelujah, good enough for me. Well, when I get to heaven, gonna put on my shoes. Hallelujah, good enough for me. And nobody's gonna pull me out. Hallelujah, good enough for me. Give me that old, old time religion. Good, good, good religion. Good religion is a shot of time. Give me that old, that old, that old, that old, that old, that old. That old, that old, that old.
ought to pray, the people 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 ought to pray. That condition I believe is what is in bed. That condition I believe is what is in bed. That condition the people ought to serve. The people ought to pray. The people ought to pray. That condition I believe is what is in bed. That condition I believe is what is in bed. That condition the people ought to serve the Lord. Now we see the man she came running, just about to pray. Amen. Bringing glad news from heaven that the angel rolling, rolling. The people ought to pray. 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 You got to pray. The people ought to pray. The people ought to pray. This word is in bed. That condition I believe. This word is in bed. That condition I believe. This word is in bed. That condition the people ought to serve. The people ought to pray. The people ought to pray. That condition I believe. This word is in bed. That condition I believe. This word is in bed. That condition the people ought to serve the Lord. Now it's early in the morning when the trumpet shall sound at the dead singing to rise. I call my mother just before I go. I love Jesus praying in his heart. The people ought to pray. 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 Why don't you know? The people ought to pray. 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 I know this word is in bed. That condition I know this word is in bed. That condition I know this word is in bed. That condition the people ought to serve. The people ought to pray. The people ought to pray. That condition I know this word is in bed. That condition I know this word is in bed. That condition the people ought to serve. The Gonna move this week and raise. He's going to raise. He's going to raise up a nation. Shall obey. Shall obey. Go down. Go down. Ezekiel and prophesy. No, Lord. And prophesy. No, the Lord. And prophesy. And prophesy. Go down, go down, Ezekiel, and prophesy. Next time, next time, this world will be destroyed by fire, destroyed by fire. God called, God called old Moses on the mountain top. No, Lord, on, on the, the mountain top. No, the Lord, on the mountain top. On the mountain top. God. God called old Moses on the mountain top. He stands, he stands his name on Moses' eyes. On Moses' eyes. Nicodemus, Nicodemus, he desired to know. No, the Lord desired to know. No, the Lord desired to know. Desired to know. Nicodemus, he desired to know no, no. How, can, how can a man be born when he's old? Be born when he's old. My Lord, my Lord's gonna move this week and rain. Lord, the Lord, this week and rain. Lord, the Lord, this week and rain. This week and rain. My Lord, my Lord's gonna move this week and rain. No, no, He's going to raise, He's going to raise up a nation. Shall obey, shall obey. Oh, you better run, run with.
when I say somebody's calling you, you better run. Run when I say somebody's calling you, you better run. Run when I say somebody's calling you, I feel like my time is long, long, long. Now it's early in the morning when the trumpet shall sound and the dead singing to rise. I call my mother just before I go. I love Jesus, pray in his hand. Run, 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 run. run. Run when I say somebody's calling you, you better run. Run when I say somebody's calling you, you better run. Run when I say somebody's calling you, I feel like my time is long, long, long. You can run all around this wicked world, think you are doing well. And if your soul ain't right with God, you're gonna die. Run when I say somebody's calling you, you better run. Run when I say somebody's calling you, you better run. Run when I say somebody's calling you, I feel like my time is long, long, long. Now listen, all you people, I'll tell you what I do. I'm calling to the Bible. You got to be in right with Run when I say somebody's calling you, you better run. Run when I say somebody's calling you, you better run. Run when I say somebody's calling you, I feel like my time is long, long, long. <laughs> Run when I say somebody's calling you, you better run. Run when I say somebody's calling you, you better run. Run when I say somebody's calling you, I feel like my time is long, long, long. Brothers run on top of the hills, he's there high behind the bar. He's there now, I try to hide my face. Now the trump is all around, Lord, he looked at me. Somebody say, no, I Run when I say somebody's calling you, you better run. Run when I say somebody's calling you, you better run. Run when I say somebody's calling you, I feel like my time is long, long, long. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Hum. hello, hum. Hum again, I shall not. I got a tale, I Oh, hum. hello, hum. Hello. <laughs> Satan, 